rapidly slowing Mac or PC, thinking it's finally time to rip the band-aid off and upgrade your computer? Maybe you're a business person, like me, and when you get home, your work laptop doesn't have enough power to let Microsoft Flight Simulator load the right way. Maybe you're a teacher and you run a Mac lab, and those computers just can't keep up with the demands of modern applications. All those things would lead you to believe that it's time to upgrade your computer. Well, I'm here to tell you, there's a better way. If any of those things are true, then maybe an eGPU is for you. Oh, that rhymes. <laughs> cool. Alright, so all kidding aside, there are plenty of reasons to upgrade to a brand spanking new computer. One of which might just be the fact that we like brand new toys. And that's all fine and good, but when we're talking about buying a new computer, a trip to the store can be pretty tough on your wallet. So I am here to tell you that there is a much more budget-friendly way to get a couple more years out of your current computer. In this video, we're going to talk about how to turbocharge your Thunderbolt-capable machine with an eGPU, and how that can keep a costly upgrade at bay for a while longer. So what is an eGPU? If you're new to this concept, first things first, an eGPU is an external graphics processing unit. It's a housing that holds and supplies power to a graphics card to increase performance on your otherwise unupgradable slotless computer like a MacBook Pro or a Mac Mini. Now, a graphics card might sound like something only high-end gamers and James Cameron's visual effects team may require, but the truth is, many modern applications you're likely using rely heavily on graphics processing to get their job done. So you may think it's the processor that's the problem, when in fact the boost from an eGPU is just what the doctor ordered to provide you with an increase in speed and responsiveness in high-end applications. OWC's Node Titan is an external graphics processing unit that lets you transform your notebook or other slotless computer, Mac Mini, iMac, etc., into a high-performance gaming, video editing, or graphics workstation for the fraction of the cost of buying or building a new machine. The Node Titan connects to a Thunderbolt 3 equipped computer and features a class leading 650 watt power supply. It offers ample space, which is needed for today's most popular double wide and full length and full height graphics cards, which are thankfully becoming available again after the massive shortage we just lived through for the last few years. Now the times, they are changing. Back when more Macs had the option for user-expandable RAM, that was a great way to squeeze a little bit more life out of your computer and make a slowing machine feel much faster. Now only a few Macs in Apple's lineup make it easy or even possible to upgrade your memory. So adding an eGPU can have a similar effect, especially if you spend a lot of time in creative apps like Adobe's Creative Suite, Apple's Pro apps, or various other third-party apps including DaVinci Resolve and Blender. The list goes on. Once you're connected, you will need to do the slightest bit of configuration to be sure that you're getting the performance boost you're looking for. In Mac OS 10.14 and later, go ahead and turn on Prefer External GPU for the respective apps. This option won't show up if you don't have any GPU connected. Similarly, you won't see this option if you're using Final Cut Pro because Apple is going to prioritize using the most powerful GPU. Okay, now that you have your eGPU installed in the Node Titan, go ahead and connect it by Thunderbolt and try some 4K tests on your timeline and go ahead and see the difference. An eGPU can increase frames per second, it can shorten the amount of time it takes to export finished projects, it can accelerate video games, it can breathe new life into your old, tired Mac computer. An eGPU will help you out the most if you are working on a computer that is operating with less than four gigabytes of VRAM. Adobe recommends a minimum of two gigabytes of VRAM, while Blackmagic Design recommends four gigabytes of VRAM. So here are some things that'll feel a little bit different once you add an eGPU into your workflow. In the Adobe Premiere world, once you add an effect past one effect on a clip, your machine will become more responsive. In DaVinci Resolve, using things like noise reduction, which require multiple frames to be rendered quickly, those will feel much faster. If you're running programs like Zoom or Keynote, those programs are super GPU intensive. So adding an eGPU will do some of that heavy lifting for you. And of course, any visual effects app will get a boost from an external GPU. Every casual Final Cut user will also get a boost in performance because Apple has made switching automatic. Whenever you're using Final Cut, it will automatically defer to the eGPU if it needs to for things like motion templates, and it's gonna make your real-time effects more responsive. Sounds expensive, right? Well, that's the thing. It's not compared to a brand new computer. The Node Titan bundled with the Radeon 6600 XT is only $699. This is quite simply a super affordable way to upgrade your Mac and stave off a new computer purchase. So the bottom line, is the Node Titan right for me? Well, let's think about how you want to use it. 
Are you a video editor wanting to use a powerful NLE like DaVinci Resolve on a MacBook Pro? Are you a video editor that wants to work and play on a powerful yet non-dedicated gaming computer like the MacBook Pro? Are you a PC gamer who prefers the form factor of a notebook but needs a boost when they get to their games? Or are you a gamer who doesn't want the heavy weight and bulkiness of a gaming GPU-based notebook? You could also be the business professional that we talked about earlier who uses a notebook at work but wants to game at home. Are you a laptop and a desktop user that doesn't want to buy two separate eGPUs? If any of these scenarios apply to you, the Node Titan is the external plug-and-play eGPU to muscle up your notebook's graphics processing power for your work and play. A nice little added feature of the Node Titan, and eGPUs in general, is you can upgrade in the future if there's a new graphics card that you want to purchase and use. And it is important to note that the future of eGPU support on Apple Silicon Macs isn't certain, and for now, these only work on Intel-based Macs. But as I mentioned earlier, an eGPU could stave off the need for making an upgrade, making it easier to wait and watch to see what the transition really means for Mac users, with the added benefit of making sure all your applications are fully supported before you make the jump. We hope this video was helpful, and from everyone here at OWC, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.